This tutorial is about how to give your wig tight ringlet curls, sometimes referred to as Victorian ringlets. This is a good method for curling wigs where you're unsure of how heat resistant the fibres are. That's because you're not going to be putting it into direct heat, like you would if you were using a curling wand. Let's begin. This is the wig that I used for my TARDIS cosplay. It already had a curl to it, but I wanted it a lot tighter. The first thing that I did was I gave this wig a blunt cut straight fringe, but of course styling the fringe, if there is one, is completely up to you. Then with a wide tooth comb, I began combing out the wig in small sections. Like normal hair, start at the bottom and work your way up. Take your time. Once that's done, get out your foam rollers. I used two packs, 28 pieces were in each, and they came in small, medium and large rollers. Now the most time consuming part. Take small sections of hair and roll them up. I found parting the wig down the middle helped me to keep the number of curls even on each side. For my design, I decided to use all the small rollers on the top, then work down with the medium and then the large at the bottom. For a more natural curl, however, mix all the different sizes together. Once you are done, go around with some scissors and trim away any flyaways. Now the fun part. Fill a sink or a wide bucket with boiling water. Ensure your wig is firmly secured with pins to your wig stand and start dunking each of the sides in. Make sure each section is submerged for at least 10 seconds to ensure saturation. Once drenched, lay it on a towel and leave it for a couple of minutes to drip dry. When it stops leaking water, grab your hairspray and give it a good going over. Don't forget to smile like a crazy woman. Now let it air dry for two or three days. Fast forward to the future, now we unwind. For ringlets, as you unravel them, make sure you untwist holding the roller more vertical than horizontal. Also, it helps if you unravel the curl in the direction away from the front of the wig. If you're after more natural curls, split the curls with your fingers into two or three pieces each. Once the curls are out, hairspray it again and don't go near any open flames. Then it's time to add any accessories, like my TARDIS light hat. And of course, doing the final trims and any touch-ups that's required. And that is how you boil your wig to give it some serious ringlets. I hope you've enjoyed this video and if you've got any questions, please ask them below. Thanks for watching.